So there are some people who are targeted with the violence online, and because it's not uh, male, well, it doesn't count. So I've been, I work mainly on data protection law, and I've been trying to think about uh, how can we think about data protection law and privacy from a feminist perspective. So this has a more theoretical um, dimension, which is really thinking about what is data protection about. One of the things that we are, uh, with some colleagues, trying to really push for is that they will be more uh, committed to everything that is related to online gender uh, violence, uh, that it's about cyber harassment of, of women. So we know that is a major problem. Uh, there is now recently uh, from the, commission, the European Commission a proposal to tackle also this, and that's very good news. But for many, many years, there was actually nothing. So we know that since the internet was invented, and of course even before, there has been violence against women and uh, against uh, people of, of uh, any uh, different uh, gender, and, and against uh, trans people. So there are some people who are targeted with the violence online. And because it's not uh, male, well, it doesn't count. We don't do anything. And I, we are really trying to convince data protection authorities and, and people in general that this has to be a priority also for, for them. Mm. We have to protect uh, children and we have to protect uh, uh, little girls and, and, and little boys, the way in which we have been doing this as a society until now has been very privacy invasive. So actually we sort of place everybody under surveillance with this reason that we have to protect the little children and the little girls. And in practice they are not protected, so we know they are not protected, but m there are many privacy invasive measures that are being adopted in the name of this fight against uh, child pornography, against this solution. So we have uh, echoes of uh, policemen going to schools, uh, trying to educate uh, everybody about uh, this uh, kind of um, self-protection against the dangers of the internet. And they will say, for instance, indeed, uh, to girls, just don't share uh, images of, of you uh, on the internet. And that's a message that actually is useless. So we know that they will do it. So if they don't really understand uh, what is happening, it's, it's not going to be a good idea. We worked for um, on a handbook on how to teach data protection to children. And I was uh, asking data protection experts how can we uh, improve uh, the education of children on data protection. And they were all saying, yes, it's very important that children use uh, long passwords with uh, numbers and letters and all this, and all this advice that we hear every, every single day. And then I talk with other people and they say, yes, well, we go to the schools, we tell them uh, you have to have this password with this uh, requirement. And they say, yes, but they also say, I gave my password to my boyfriend because I'm obliged to give the password to my boyfriend. So what's the point of the letters and, and the things? It's useless. And then what you really have to fight is this idea that indeed you have to give the, your password to your boyfriend. This is the, the, the real problem. So the problem is not what the data protection experts think or most of them think. There are different uh, problems. The, the bias in processing of data can come from different uh, sources. We know this. Uh, it can be that actually we um, don't collect the, the, the right data. We collect uh, some data that are not just representative of, of everybody. Some people are not counted. Some people are counted disproportionately. That, that's a possibility. It can be that the way in which we process the data is biased. So we have the right data sometimes, but we have the algorithms that are badly designed that are designed in a way that just will favor somebody and not uh, other people. I think bias can come from many, many places. It could be just that the people who are uh, putting the systems in place are biased in the way in which they, they act. So many things can happen, and actually normally everything that can go wrong goes wrong, and we have uh, many, many biases. Sometimes the, the, the relation between the type of bias and, and something is, is very, very clear. Sometimes these are more invisible biases that then we have to, to try to figure out.